within the darkness of the dream of death. Who could succeed where contradiction is the setting of this searching and the place to which he comes to find stability? Goals that are man meaningless are not attained. There is no way to reach them, for the means by which you strive for them are meaningless as they are. Who can use such senseless means? and hope through them to gain in anything. Where can they live and what could they achieve that offers any hope of being real? Pursuit of the, of the imagined leads to death because it is the search for nothingness. And while you seek for life, you ask for death. You look for safety and security while in your heart you pray for danger and protection for the life dream you made. Yet searching is invitable here. For this you came and you will surely do the thing you came for. But the word cannot dictate the goal for which you search unless you give it power to do so. Otherwise you still are free to choose a goal that lies beyond the word and every worldly thought and one that comes to you from an idea relinquished yet remembered, old yet new, an echo of a heritage forgot, yet holding everything you really want. Be glad that search you must. Be glad as well to learn you search for heaven and must find the goal you really want. No one can fail to want this goal and reach it in the end. God's son cannot seek vainly. Truth, he tried to force delay, deceive himself and think that it is hell he seeks. When he is wrong, he finds correction. When he wanders off, he is led back to his appointed task. No one remains in hell, for no one can abandon his creator, nor affect his perfect, timeless and unchanging love. You will find heaven, everything you seek but this will fall away, yet not because it has been taken from you, it will go because you do not want it. You will reach the goal you really want as certainly as God created you in sinlessness. Why wait for heaven? It is here today. Time is the great illusion. It is past or in the future. Yet this cannot be if it is where God wills his son to be. How could the will of God be in the past or yet to happen? What he wills is now, without a past and holy futureless. It is as far removed from time as is a tiny candle from a distant star, or what you choose from what you really want. Heaven remains your one alternative to this strange world you made and all its ways. Its shifting patterns and uncertain goals its painful pleasures and its tragic joys. God made no contradictions, what denies its own existence and attacks itself is not of him. He did not make two minds, with heaven as the glad effective of one, and earth the other story outcome, which is heaven's opposite in every way. God does not suffer conflict nor is his creation split in two. How could it be his son could be in hell when God his son 
Christ himself established him in heaven, could he lose what the eternal will has given him to be his home forever? Let us not try longer to impose an alien will upon God's single purpose. He is here because he wills to be, and what he wills is present now, beyond the reach of time. Today we will not choose a paradox in place of truth. How could the Son of God make time to take away the will of God? He trusts denies himself and contradicts what has no opposite. He thinks he made a hell opposing heaven and believes that he abides in what does not exist, while heaven is the place he cannot find. Leave foolish thoughts like this behind today and turn your mind to true ideas instead. No one can fail who seeks to reach the truth and it is truth we seek to reach today. We will devote 10 minutes to this goal three times today and we will ask to see the rising of the real world to replace the foolish images that we hold dear with true ideas ideas arising in the place of thoughts that have no meaning, no effect and neither source nor substance in the truth. This we acknowledge as we start upon our practice periods. Begin with this. I ask to see a different word and think a different kind of thought from those I made. The word I seek I did not make alone. The thoughts I want to think are not my own. For several minutes watch your mind and see. All truth your eyes are closed. The senseless word you think is real. Review the thoughts as well which are compatible, which are compatible with such a word and which you think are true. Then let them go and sing below them to the holy place where they can enter not. There is a door beneath them in your mind which you could not completely lock to hide what lies beyond. Seek for that door and find it. But before you try to open it, remind yourself no one can fail who seeks to reach the truth. And it is this request you make today. Nothing but this has any meaning now. No other call is valued now nor sought. Nothing before this door you really want. And only what lies past it do you seek. Put out your hand and see how easily the door swings open with your one intent to go beyond it. Angels light the way so that all darkness vanish, vanishes and you are standing in the light so bright and clear that you can understand all things you see. A tiny moment of surprise perhaps will make you pause before you realize the word you see before you in the light reflects the truth you know and did not quite forget it wandering away in dreams. You cannot fail today. There, will, there walks with you the spirit heaven sent you, that you might approach this door someday, and through his aid sleep effortlessly passed it through the light. Today that day has come. Today God keeps his ancient promise to his holy son, as does his son remember his to him. This is a day of gladness, how we come to the appointed time and place where you will find the goal of all your searching here and all the seeking of the word, which end together as you pass beyond the door. Remember often that today should be a time of special gladness and refrain from this small thought. 
thoughts and the meaningless laments. Salvation's time has come. Today is set by heaven itself to be a time of grace for you and for the world. If you forget this happy fact, remind yourself with this. Today I seek and find all that I want. My single purpose offers it to me. No one can fail who seeks to reach the truth. Lesson 131 No one can fail who seeks to reach the truth. Lesson 131 
no one can fail who seeks to reach the truth.